All right, good morning, everybody. Danny Shea on a... When, is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. COVID calendars. They are... They just don't make any sense to me. But I got my coffee. My Costa Rican fresh ground. Wow, it's so dang good. Anyway, um, I wanted to get on. Hopefully, I'm going to do this in one take. A lot of times I stop and I start and I edit and I just, it's like, because I say stupid stuff and I go, oh, you can't say that. Anyway, um, so we're going to get to it kind of quick so I don't say stupid stuff, which I've already probably said three stupid things and like taking my time drinking coffee and people going off, off, off. Mmm. That's good. All right. Card I pulled last night. So first off, thank you all for my subscribers. Thank you for joining me here. I appreciate you all. Appreciate your comments. Um, thank you. All right. The card I got last night. And for you new subscribers, what I do is I pull a card every night. So when I wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning going, what the hell's going on? I should be doing this. I should be doing that. No. Then I think about the tree of life. Now, it was the tree of life in medicine position. And in this deck, the mystical shaman oracle, um, when cards are reversed, it's the medicine position. And I really like that term. It's like, yeah, you got to look at what's going to help you, what's going to what is the medicine that you need to look at? So when you're looking at this tree of life and it's in medicine position, well, let me go back. The tree of life is strong roots, twisted, interconnected with others, and reaching towards the sky. That's kind of what I see today. In medicine, it's making me think about my roots. Why are my roots in the sky? How come my roots are not grounded? So make sure if this is you, if you're upside down, if you're feeling, what the hell's going on? If you're feeling that way, check your roots. That's all I'm saying. Mine are good. All right. All right, all right, all right. Here's what I want to read on today. Um, we, we got Amy up there, yakety, yakety, yakety. And my issue with Amy is, even though some Republicans may disagree, maybe, do I need a light? Got to pause. Okay, sorry. I just said I want to do this all in one without stopping and starting. My beautiful wife likes to turn all my power strips off. I'm going to make her watch this video. Say, look, now everybody's saying leave the power strip on. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Where was I? Amy, 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 Amy. So they're doing this, you know, they're, they're doing the Senate hearings and the Republicans are saying, oh, great, great, great. You're wonderful. My problem with her is that she's got three years experience and in the appellate court, I think it's the appellate court. And I'm like, is three years experience enough is it enough for a Supreme Court justice? What is three years experience enough for? Certainly tarot reading. I have a little more than three. Three and a half. But for a Supreme Court judge? And what the hell were all our kids doing there? 
Shouldn't they be in school? Ted Cruz is asking her how she plays piano. That's a good question to ask a Supreme Court candidate. Do you play piano? <laughs> so, <laughs> see, I should be I should be editing this out. I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. So, before I got on, I wanted to see what I said about her before, because I did do a video on her before, and I think I said she was going to get in. And, but I want to know what senators, I mean, because she only needs a few to kick her out of the, of the nomination process. Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins said they're not going along with this. So I want to see if they're still not going along with it. Um, and is there any other crazy, not crazy, well, crazy Republican? Because they're all crazy. What the hell happened to our Republican base? I know I'm hearing some of you guys going, they're all, they're all evil. Well, they're not all evil, although... I'm having a hard time finding some that are really sane, but they're the ones not making a lot of noise. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. All right. Um, I'm going to use my fountain deck. So let's look at a couple of senators. I'm just going to be pulling three cards. Let's look at a couple of senators. And I just thought I will be pausing while I'm shuffling because y'all don't need to see me shuffle. Y'all don't need to hear me yakety 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 yak either. So, um, let me see what senator I want to dig into first. Okay. Mitt Romney. Now I know. Whoa. Whoa. Cards flew. That one flew out. He just had a, a an article where he was saying. This battling that is going on in the political world right now with, you know, calling people names and, and finger pointing and whatever that Trump keeps throwing out there is wrong. And that flew out as well as this one. Ooh, yeah. That's Trump. Got a new card for Trump. That's it. Wah, wah. Anyway, um, what does Mitt Romney think? Is he going to vote for or against Amy? And I'm hearing for just because of, of her pro-life stand. And Pete Buttigieg has been in my news feed. These cards are not shuffling well for me. Mitch, so, um, but Pete Buttigieg, coming up, God, that guy's so eloquent, I need to get some eloquent lessons from him, he's smooth, dang, when I get into an argument, I'm like, at two o'clock in the morning, I'm going, oh, I should have said that, <laughs> then I look at my tree of life, and my roots are all up in the sky. I go, yeah, well, that's why I didn't say that. All right, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney. God, I'm yeah. It's that Costa Rican coffee. Mitt, are you going to vote for Amy? Mitt, are you going to vote for Amy? Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, because of strength. But he is battling with it a little bit. But he's he's gonna he's gonna vote for her, and maybe this is Amy battling. So, okay, alrighty. Um, let's look at some of the ones. Let's look at Lisa Murkowski, because she was saying um, that she's not gonna. That was a good show. That she was not gonna um, go along with this process. You know, the next president should decide. And it's so clear. I mean, they did that in 2016. I know we talked to that to death. 
But that just is telling you Trump knows he's going to lose. And so does McConnell. All right. Um, um, Murkowski. Lisa Murkowski. Are you going to stick by your Republican word? <laughs> That's a military intelligence phrase. All right. Lisa Murkowski. Are you going to stick by your Republican word? Lovers walking away. Oh, she is. Let's just drop this down so you can see. Yay. So, she's got the lover's card. She's in her bubble, right? She's walking away, and all of the emotional... All of the emotional um, waters with this, she's being protected by Joe Biden. King of Cups, Joe Biden card. Eight of Cups walking away, lovers. It's She's staying true to who she is, who she loves to be. Lisa. Good, good, good. All right, so let's see. Um, well, let's, let's go into Maine. Susie, girl. Susie, don't call me Susie. Susie. I'm going out of order, so that's going to mess me up. All right, Susan Collins. Are you going to keep by your Republican word? I just heard no. I haven't in the past. Why should I now? Susie. Susan Collins. Susan Collins. Man. My card's upside down? No. Except that card is. Oof. All right. This is... This is going to throw me a little bit. Susan Collins, are you going to stick by your Republican word? The chariot in reversed. The empress and the eight of wands. So if I, the chariot moving forward, if it was in the upright position, it's still going in two different directions. But being upside down, hang on, so much for not stopping the video. Okay, um, so the chariot reversed. She's not moving anywhere. And we're talking just about this topic. Is she going to keep to her Republican word? This says yes. This says to me, that she is, you know, this empress is a strong woman. It's it's somebody that has character, kind of, maybe, um, but she lies. I'm up in the air on Susan. She's going to get a lot of information, and it's coming to a point. Let me see if I can get a clarification on it. Talk to me about this upside down chariot or the empress. See, I feel like the empress is trying to do the right thing. Even though when you get to be an empress, you know, you spin things for your benefit. But I, I'm sensing she is trying to do the right thing. She's going to have a lot of people going against her. And this chariot upside down says she's not moving. She's staying with her word. So let me just, one card clarification, see if I get clarification on that. Yep. This is the Five of Swords. Winning at any cost. But do you see the worm? She cut the worm in half. She's cutting ties with the Republican vote. So, that's two. I should keep a running tab. Two. All right. 
So, just need two more. Um, and if um, Arizona flips, and if Mark Kelly gets in, then we need one more. Well, let's just look. Arizona. Arizona. Three cards on Arizona. Arizona is going to give us people who think that this is being rushed and that this confirmation should be for the next president, the ace of coins. It is going to be up in the air, though, until the election, and there's a lot of strength in there. So, again, I'm going with Mark Kelly is going to win. And he is going to, well, let's just ask Mark Kelly, if you get to vote, if you get into the Senate, will you vote with Democrats or will you vote to confirm her? And it shouldn't be vote with Democrats. It should be just vote to confirm or not to confirm. It should be based on who the person is. But then we have to put it through the filter of who nominated her, and that's where it just goes off the rails. Mark Kelly, will you vote Yes, he will. Six of Cups. To me, this is working with um, within a bubble within the Democratic Party. Going back to what everybody said should happen is let the new president vote. So we're just going to leave it at that. All right, we got two for sure, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking we also have Arizona in there. But let's just go into um, North Carolina Tillis. Now, I don't know his political views, um, but I'm pretty sure they're a pretty strong Republican from North Carolina. So, uh, you know, and God tell you, See, I was going to say something real stupid, but I ain't going to do it. Uh, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and y'all think I'm smart. All right, Tom Tillis, Tom Tillis. You're in the race with Cunningham. Are you going to vote And I'm, I'm thinking if this vote happens before the election, because it'll have an impact on the election. That's this is where I'm going with this. Will you vote to nominate, to put her on the Supreme Court? Ooh, battling. Wow. These are the same cards in reversed. Ace of Pentacles, being in a bubble, and the Five of Swords. So I see him being in his Republican bubble, but this, uh, uh. okay, I want to clarify what bubble he is in, because he's battling, he's battling other people. He, other people are talking to him and go, you can't do that, you can't do that. He's bringing in a new idea, a new something and I'm going oh is that Amy or is that no let's do something different and now he's in a bubble what kind of bubble is he in talk to me about this lover's card with Tom Tillis 
in his vote. Is it Republican or is it Democrat? Is it Republican or is it Democrat? Ooh. Republican, the Emperor. Being crossed by the Queen of Coins. Yeah, I think he's he's voting for. Um, the Queen of Coins is all about money. Um, maybe Amy's got some money. Well, certainly, she, did did she get some money? I read I read an article on somebody who got money. Oh. It's one of it's one of Trump's lawyers, where they said that um, the polls are all wrong, because um, nobody, you know, the Trump has a silent majority. But all you have to do is look at the boat parades. That's all you have to do. Just, just look, look at the boats. All right. Still at two, maybe three. Let's go to Montana Danes, another close race. Montana Danes. Montana Danes. Looking at the time. Star of Hope. He's out by himself. He's alone. He's not following the pact. Pack. And the King of Pentacles. He's in Montana. Right? Is that right? Montana? Yeah. Y'all who live in Montana, this is not meaning any disrespect, but you are the king of your land. You are the king of your domain. When I think of going to Montana and getting me a ranch, besides thinking of Frank Zappa, I think that if I had this ranch, I would be king on my ranch. Nobody tells me what to do. I'm in Montana. Star of Hope. He's searching for the truth. He's alone. He's breaking away from the Republicans. He's king. I think we got three. I think we got three. All right. Using my magic pen. Three. Maybe four. Let's keep going. Joni Ernst. Does she play the piano? Someone should ask her. And then do your kids play? What kind of question is that for a Supreme Court candidate? I'll play the banjo. <laughs> Put me on the court. God dang it. Joni Ernst. Joni Ernst. You can tell my coffee's really good. I'm all jacked up. Joni Ernst. She's the queen of wands. Oh yeah, look at me. Look at me, Joni. I'm Joni. She's got strength. She's got a decision. She's thinking about this. She's thinking about this with the two of cups. This is a this is different than in um, in like the Rider weight deck because look at there's like you know she's reaching for something I mean two people reaching for something so but it's more spiritual and certainly they are on similar spiritual paths so I don't think I need to clarify I think Joni is voting for her. Yeah, I just heard yes. So for us, five of wands, yes. 
Okay, so Joni is not going to get a mark. How about Corey Gardner, Colorado? Now this, this is interesting to me. Corey Gardner, Colorado. Are you going to be voting for Amy to become a Supreme Court judge? <laughs> All right. Three cups working together. Ace of Swords. New truths, sharp truths, Knight of Coins on a new path and a new new way of working. A business, a new project. It's not the page but it's the night, so it's and when I looked at this I was a little confused. I was going, okay, what is this celebration? Who's the celebration? How many marks do I have on my page? I have three solid ones. We're not sure about Arizona. One more. And he's coming to the light. You know, and he still has his way of doing things, but he's going into the light. I'm marking Corey. I am marking Corey. That is four. I got two more to go. Three more to go. I can't count. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, two. Because I already did Murkowski. Um, and I got to do this one. My beautiful hummingbird. Um, they came to say hi. Patricia, this one's for you. Oklahoma. She was going, why isn't anybody talking about Oklahoma? It just gets skipped over. And it's true. Nobody talks about Oklahoma. Um, they have, what, seven electoral seats? more than, I think, Utah or Colorado, but Utah gets in there more than Oklahoma. Why isn't anybody talking about Oklahoma? I am. And that may speak volumes, why nobody's talking about Oklahoma. And no fay, how do you say that? In, in, in Hafe? Whatever. Is he gonna vote? I heard yes. So you can vote for Amy. Oh, a lot of cards popped out, but the first one I caught was the Queen of Wands. So, so you gonna vote for Amy? Is he gonna vote for Amy? Hang on, I gotta do this kind of shuffle because that's what I hear. Is he gonna vote for Amy? Yeah, the cards just are not shuffling well. It's got some big news coming. Well, that could be a surprise. Followed by fast news coming. Followed by, we won't know. <laughs> the High Priestess. I need clarification, please. So, he, here's what I'm getting with, I'll say, big news coming like, bam, kind of shaking everything up like a like an earthquake, like a COVID pandemic. And then you have fast news coming to a point, running down the rails, so to speak. It's not going off the rails, but it's going to a finish. But then you have this high priestess. What does this high priestess do? little bit of this, a little bit of that. We're not really sure. We're not really sure. So let's get some clarification, please. I just want to know what... Um, I'm just going to pull three more cards, see if I can get clearer on this. On Oklahoma. This is, Patricia, this is why nobody reads on Oklahoma. It's very confusing. 
It's very confusing. These are crazy cards. Big news, we already talked about it. Being crossed by the fool. The fool's journey. If he was standing in line, he wouldn't be a fool in the Republican's eye. You have the Eight of Wands being crossed by, I don't even know what that is, the sun. Look at all those rays compared to look at all those wands. So far, not too, too much clarification. And then the high priestess, we have the daughter of pentacles. To me, the feeling I get with this is no, he is going to vote to put her through. He is not going to side with the Democrats, although he is thinking about it. And this is such, um, he could change his mind on this. And, and that goes back to this. So right now, I think he's leaning towards it, but he can change his mind because this is such a young energy. So he's a maybe. He's a maybe. All right, one more. Purdue. Purdue, Georgia. Uh, I don't know about that. Georgia. Okay, Purdue, you're in a tight race. Are you going to vote to put Amy on the Supreme Court if it comes up? If it comes up, I'm gonna put, are you going to vote to put Amy on the Supreme Court? Just thinking about it. Oh, yeah, I think he is. He's going over, he's thinking about it, he's making his reviews. It's just his one vote. That's what it, that's what I heard. And then I got the Ten of Cups. And this is all about balance. I heard Republican Party when I pulled this, but... When I look at this card, it's all about balance. It's about all about achieving balance as you go up. If she gets on the Supreme Court, is that balance? Talk to me about this Ten of Cups. Is that Republican or is that Democrat? Is that Republican out of balance or Democrat in balance? Magician. I'm sorry. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Magician followed by walking away. Upside down. The Ten of Pentacles upside down. I asked. I go, well, that's, I heard Republican. Republican upside down. Walking away from the magician. The magician is one of my trump cards because he's always slip sliding away. Georgia is 
number four. All right, so let's ask the big question. Wow, wouldn't that be something? Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, guys. Um, Georgia. Let's ask the big question. I'm going to use my wild unknown because it's big and it's unknown. Is Amy going to be nominated to the Supreme Court in the next six months? Why six months? Because it popped into my head. Um, I don't even know if she's going to get out of committee. I think she will. Will Amy be nominated to the Supreme Court Well, let's just put by the end of the year. Well, I'm going to keep it six months because that's what I heard in six months. A lot of these cards jump out because I can't shuffle. i got the teeniest little hands. And my trigger finger doesn't help either. So, a lot of battling. Winning at any costs. Being crossed by... Oh, look at that. The tree of life. Look at those roots. Six of cups. Going back to a simpler time. At the base of the reading is the ace of cups. Let me pull this down so you all can see. Um, at the base of the reading is is the ace of cup. Who's the king of cups? Joe Biden. Mother of Cups um, in the past. Heartbreak at the top. Daughter of Swords. There's some truth that's coming out with this that is um, it's going to shed some light on this whole process. So does she have something in her past that's going to cause this heartbreak. You just keep going real quick. You have the magician. She's hoping for some magic so that this stuff doesn't come out. External features is the empress. Okay, crazy. Look at two different trees. This one is, is giving and receiving nourishment. This one is... That doesn't look very good. So a lot of times when we read Empress, um, it's it's Russia. So is there some Russian uh, influences? Do, where's where's Pentacles? No Pentacles. Hopes and fears. Strength. She is a strong woman. Oh, there's the Pentacles. And this is giving and receiving. So when I said giving and receiving nutrients here in this Six of Cups, going back to, you know, a simpler time, here's the money. And here's the interconnectedness of the money that's causing heartbreak. And here's the Three of Pentacles. Again, the Three of Pent Pentacles in the Rider Weight deck is, is my Apprentice card, you know, it's also dark money card. Sorry, I just hit Mr. Microphone. So, um, let's look at the base of the deck. Mother of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Look at the web. Father of Swords. Star Hope. She's really hoping. I really, 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 really hope. Well, she didn't get the death card. She got that card. Ow. That's a sharp stick in her eye. Um, I am not seeing it. I'm seeing something come up. I am seeing something come up that is is um, has something to do with money. Dark money. 
that is going to um, cause her heartache. It's going to cost her. You know, when I feel, you know, I, I feel like she m may be uh, a good justice. Not that I agree with her, her, um, her past writings or what she has said. Not at all. But I get this sense that she may be a little more balanced. But I don't think it matters because I don't think she's going to get in. I think she did some dark stuff in the past that's going to catch up with her. Okay. Someone said that my last video was too short. <laughs> this one isn't. Okay. Um, let's leave on. Let's leave on a couple of oracles to think about so we can clear that energy. Let me clear that energy, please. Clear, 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 clear. We'll do a little. I got a new bale. All right. It's my Halloween bale. I need to use my Halloween cards pretty soon. It's it, pretty soon I won't be able to. All right, what do we need to think about as we move forward? What do we need to think about as we move forward? Interesting. Okay. Very cool. Let's drop this down. All right. These are my enchanted... Map, Oracle cards, compass in reverse. Make, let's not, and I keep saying this, um, let's not get caught up in a misdirection. Make sure that we are staying true to who we are. Uh, I was watching Linda G last night where she was, you know, saying we can't we can't be hating and wishing ill and and um, getting off of our compass, off of our true north. Just because the magnetic compass might be swinging us to say, you know, I I wish that guy would just get COVID and you know he's killing everybody. Yeah, yeah I know his recklessness is causing so much pain and even death that you wish ill on this. Well, I, I'm not going to say what you do, but I have, and I think that's wrong. We got to keep our compass strong. Let's not forget to, uh, this is a tall mountain. This is a big mountain that, that we have to climb we have to go into that darkness so that until this moon goes away and sunlight comes. So um, make sure that we're spending time really realizing what we want to do, who we want to be. And sometimes it's scary going in there. But we're learning a whole, whole lot. And it's all about this balancing act of magnetic or true direction. So, anyway. <laughs> that ship is balancing on a bubble, on a tightrope. Sounds like us. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Push that little like button, too, if you want. Um, all right. Peace and love.